So do you need a bling bike to get fit? Yes or no, right now I'm riding a, a Costco bike with suspension seat posts, flat pedals, 60 PSI on the tires and I'm beating guys on $12,000 electronic fucking zip Envy wheels, S-Work Tarmac SL4s and then just beating those guys on my little $150 Costco bike. So people go, why would people spend so much money on a bike? It's like, well, it does help, the bike does help. You don't need an expensive bike, but it definitely does help. So, I would spend, I would spend at least, a road bike at least, at least a thousand dollars. Try to get a last year's model, give you a deal. Buy from a shop where you can fit you up properly. And that's what you want. And then, uh, so a thousand dollar bike, then eventually you can sell get a power meter. A thousand dollar bike with a power meter is way more better than a ten thousand dollar bike with no power meter. But bottom line, you need a proper bike fit. So buy a brand new bike, you get warranty, you get service, get the proper bike fit, mark all your measurements out, and that bike's gonna last at least 10 years, unless it gets stolen, <laughs> or you're crashing on the back of a car. So a nice alloy bike, entry level from Trek, Giant, Specialized, Cannondale, Jameis, Merida, whatever, lifetime warranty frames. That's all you need, you don't need a bling bike. So do you need a bling bike to get fit? No, all you need is a thousand dollar bike, the proper bike fit, get some cycling shoes, I've got videos on that and invest in a power meter before you upgrade anything on your bike. Don't worry about wheels or whatever, just get a power meter. That's the best upgrade for any bike. Hope that clears it up. I'll see you soon.